So welcome to Techno Dad Life where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on uh, today's episode we're going to be installing Duplicati and Duplicati makes it easy for us to make backups of our computer. And so we can actually make those backups locally, say on another, uh, another drive or another server. Or we can actually make those on the cloud, which is very neat. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, and if you like this video, make sure you like it, and here we go now! Alright, so let's get started installing Duplicati. So first thing we're going to do is go to Plugins, and we're going to type in Duplicati. And we're going to click the checkbox and then click install and yes. Once that's done, click close and refresh. And so now if we go down to services, we see Duplicati. And so first thing we're going to do is change the listening address. And we want that 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 or four zeros. Click Enable, and then click Save, and then Apply, and Yes. Next, we're going to open the web interface, and we're going to click No, because we only have one uh, machine, has only one a single account. And so now we're into the setup, and you can see right now there's nothing here, so we're going to click Add Backup. And so we're going to be copying this to Google Cloud or Google Drive. And so here I have my Google Drive open. We'll take a look there. And you can see nothing in the Google Drive right now. So we're going to configure a new backup. Click Next. And so for the backup name, we're just going to say November 1, 2018. We're not going to use encryption for the sake of this tutorial, but you can. And so the destination folder, so you have a couple options here. You can save it to, say, another computer, or another drive on your computer. And so here you can look at our shared folders. I created, I created a backup folder on a different uh, drive. And so we would just click on that and test connection. You can see connection worked. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to be putting something on a Google Drive. And you can see you have a wide range of options depending on what you have. If you're like me, you have a couple of those. And so now uh, we're going to actually create the path on the folder. So I don't want to call it shared folders. We'll just call it backups. And so this is where the folder on the Google Drive that will be stored. And so here you can see it says click the Auth ID link to create an ID. So next we're going to click Auth ID. That will bring us to logging into Google Drive. We just click on that. Then click Allow. And it will come up with a long number, which then automatically gets put in here. Next, click Test Connection. And then it says the backup folder does, does not exist, so create it, yes. And connection worked, okay. And then down below here, there are advanced options. We're not gonna use any of those, but you can read through those if you want. Then click next. And so source data. So the first couple things here, user data, those are all for a Windows machine. Uh, we don't have a Windows machine, so we're gonna click on computer, then scroll down to shared folders, hit the down arrow. And we're going to copy my media folder. And so here you can see that I have books, movies, and music. And as everybody knows, that uh, storage on cloud drives is very limited. So what do I do if I don't want to copy those? And so that's where we go down to filters and exclude. So filters, not very useful. Just default file types, you can filter by that. Exclude. And so... We don't want any hidden files, system files, temporary files, and so this bottom one, any files larger than. And so my books are all less than 100 megabytes, my movies and my music all over 100 megabytes. So if I have this clicked, 
then only my books will get carried over. So we're going to click Next. And here you can set the schedule for when the backups actually happen. Uh, all you have to do is if you want it done every night, change that one thing and click Next. For the sake of this tutorial, we're not going to do that. And so we're going to click Next. And so these are how the different files are going to be broken up. And then the next one is backup retention. And then you can set a date or a day, how many days old something should be, number of backups, uh, smart backup retention or custom. And so we'll just set the backup numbers. And so we'll just set two. And then advanced options, lots of advanced options. You can read through those. Uh, just to show you one thing, compression. You can set the compression level. And so here we're going to put five. So we have a small file again for our cloud server. Then we're going to click save and continue. And so the one that we just created is this November 1, 2018. So you can see it's never run. And so we're going to click run now. And while we do that, it will show the progress in this green box up here. So run now. And this will take a few minutes or more than a few minutes, depending on how much you have on your server and how much you're transferring up to the cloud. So again, let's take a look over at a Google Drive. It's made the backup folder. Right now it's empty. Okay, and so now when we click run now, it will start uploading. Once that's done, it will say the date of when it was done and the source and the backup. And here we can show we have a warning. And so it says the warning is a result or the backup. And let's just see what happened on our Google Drive. Go to backups. Uh, still backed up everything. So sort of an unknown error there. Uh, if we go back to Duplicati, I can show you a couple more things. So say you have more than one cloud drive that you want to back up or you want to back up to a cloud drive and a local hard drive. You can just actually add in a new backup setting and you can do both. So if we want to restore, we would just click on our one that we want to restore, click next. And so we want to uh, actually, it gives you the option again to select uh, if you have any other restore points you want to do. You can do file types and then you uh, show the folder where you want to the restore to be. So we'll just say, uh, we can actually just say books or let's do shared media folders. Click continue, put the original destination and we're going to save that in a timestamp file. file. And we're going to leave the permissions as is. We're going to click Restore. And next it says the files have been successfully store, restored. And then click OK. And so that's how you restore. Uh, if we go to Settings, you can set different settings such as a password, other things like that. And the About is just about Duplicati. So that's Duplicati, which is an incremental way of backing up your files. So on Monday, we're going to synchronistically keep files on our Google Drive using a different program. Uh, Duplicati is just a backup program, so it does incremental backups, uh, which you can then restore. Synchronously means that it's the exact same files all the time on the server as is on the cloud. And if you like this video, make sure you like. And if you're new to the channel, make, you, make sure you subscribe so you can get more information or see more videos. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.